Huawei's P40 Pro has probably the best camera it's possible to find in a phone. Let's take a closer look. Huawei's P40 Pro Plus is the phone that I was waiting for. Now, Huawei launched the P40 series, which included the base P40 and the P40 Pro back in March. And while the P40 Pro is pretty decent, it's the P40 Pro Plus, which really pushes the boundaries with imagery. It's the first phone which comes with a 10 times optical zoom lens, which lets you get much, much closer to your subject without much loss in quality. It puts the iPhone 11 Pro's two times optical zoom to shame, and let me tell you, the zoom on this thing is really incredible. Take a look at these example shots I took around Edinburgh on the Huawei and the iPhone. At the standard one time zoom, there's little to choose between them. The iPhone's optical zoom maxes out at two times, which is probably fine for a lot of scenes. But the P40 Pro Plus takes the optical zoom not just to three times, but onto a huge 10 times, which lets you get a completely different picture, and you don't even have to move your feet to get it. I've really enjoyed playing with this zoom and seeing what sort of pictures I can get that I'd never be able to get with the iPhone zoom. But when you're not needing the zoom, this thing does still take amazing pictures. This shot of weird flowering boots is beautifully exposed with good contrast and saturation, while this shot overlooking Edinburgh is vibrant and punchy and would be a great holiday snap to come away with. That is, if we were allowed to go on holiday right now, of course. Its main rival, though, is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, which also packs some impressive zoom skills and has impressed us already in our reviews. So how do the images compare? With the standard view, there's again not loads to set them apart, with both phones producing bright, vibrant images. At three times zoom, the P40 Pro Plus captures a pin-sharp, well-exposed shot, and while the S20 Ultra can get a bit closer with its four times optical zoom, the shots look a bit over-processed and a touch on the fake side for my taste. At ten times, Huawei's shot is darker than the S20's, but it hasn't had to digitally crop in, so there's more detail making it a sharper image. They can both go all the way to 100 times zoom, but the images are, quite frankly, awful. So it's definitely a draw there. In this cityscape at 10 times zoom, both shots look great. Zoom in though, and it's possible to see that the Huawei does have superior detail. And of course, it has a night mode as well, which let me capture this shot in what was an extremely dark room. It's easily on a par with the shots from the iPhone 11 Pro and the shots from the S20 Ultra. Beyond the camera, this phone is still packed with tons of top tech. It's got a gorgeous 6.5 inch display, tons of power, 5G, IP68 waterproofing, and a battery that'll comfortably last a day. Now that's basically everything you'd expect from a top tier phone launching in 2020. So I know what you're thinking, what is the catch? Well, due to the ongoing restrictions on Huawei from the US government, the thing that this phone doesn't have is Google services. That means no YouTube, no Chrome, no Gmail, and no Google Play Store for your apps. Huawei does have its own app store that's expanding all the time, with some big names like Snapchat and TikTok already available. Some other apps, including Facebook and WhatsApp, can be downloaded as APK files from their official websites. But the lack of Google services is a big deal, and it will be a deal breaker for many of you, particularly as this phone is far from cheap. In fact, at £1,299 in the UK, Huawei's phone is more expensive than Samsung's S20 Ultra. There's no question Huawei's phone has got a lot going for it. That zoom really is awesome. But when the S20 Ultra has similar zoom skills, also has 5G, has full access to Google services and costs less, the P40 Pro Plus no longer seems like a smart buy. But what do you think of Huawei's P40 Pro Plus? Is the lack of Google services a complete deal breaker for you? Or do those camera skills start to make up for it? Please do let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe to CNET for a lot more.